so these are the prerequisites so it will help you understand more on easily like ERP so majorly the Oracle integrations what we will be talking here about is fusion Oracle fusion and OIC getting integrated okay and with other systems we have adapters but we won't be discussing more about them we will be building integrations with fusion ERP since people buy Oracle fusion they always go with OIC to build their integrations but the different systems like if uh, SAP or some other technology ERP systems they might not buy Oracle integration cloud they might go for some third party applications but whoever goes for Oracle fusion maximum they buy OIC so we will be building integrations with OIC and fusion ERP so here all the other applications are our applications so to talk about talk about integrations in a simple terms what do we do in integrations we have two systems okay let's take any of the two systems there is a company called A and another company called B now B is on fusion A is on SAP but these two people do business with each other so every day there is a transactions happening and now they both need to interact and since these two are on cloud you don't have access you need a separate system to integrate these two let's take OIC as our integration tool now now company A will send the data maybe let's take invoice or general ledgers they send it in the form of file to OIC we read the file and we push it to fusion using the services which fusion exposed to manipulate data or if not file there are other systems too like you can call the web services or you can call the rest APIs too to put the data in Oracle ERP fusion now so hope everyone knows ERP enterprise resource planning it is an application business application and rest soap so these are the two things where rest uses JSON to communicate and soap uses XML these are the two web services which Oracle exposed and SQL PL SQL as uh, I don't remember the name but uh, one person asked like where do we do it that we will see in OIC we don't have access to do we'll procure a database and we'll install an agent and there we'll do all our validations PL SQL procedures everything so and next is FBDI hope everyone knows this who all worked on Oracle Fusion it is file based data import option which Oracle provides you can load your file to use and then run a job which will load to interface table and then you can run the import program this is the Oracle terminologies so web services rest APIs these are the three things which Oracle exposed mean like in fusion you cannot modify data directly we don't have access to the database behind the Oracle fusion cloud ERP so we have this FBDI web services or rest APIs which we use to insert data using rest APIs we have options options even to update and delete to that we will see not all the objects are exposed only few modules expose that we can check that what all options we have and next is BIP BIP is a reporting tool which is present on Oracle Cloud Fusion where we build reports so the reports like for example if a person needs a GL data we need to send like invoice data we will need to send invoice data to company A then we need to create a report in the format they need then we have two options one is you can directly send the report or you need to build an integration to fetch that report and send it to the third party systems this we will see in deep but hope uh, everyone have an idea on these prerequisites so you are talking about the PA oh. publisher right yes BI not publisher BA not BA report no 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 it's BI publisher which is available on Oracle Fusion yeah no like both are available okay yeah and like, can you please explain on the rest and soap what is so th these are the services like uh, which communicate rest communicates on HTTP and soap communicates on different models like even it communicates on HTTP and other services too so these are two things which we use which go with the URL okay one using that URL you can communicate with the other system Oh, okay. Behind REST, they use JSON. JSON is a language where they put the data in, and SOAP uses XML. 
we will see in detail going forward how they work and what is the code in depth. Hey, hey Felix, uh, this is Bala. Yeah, yeah. yeah, please. Yes, Bala. Uh, quick question. So yeah. on the BA publisher uh, in the cloud, is this the standard version of the BA publisher or is it the enterprise version of the BA publisher? Version, I'm not so clear about, but Oracle comes with a BA publisher. Yeah, the reason I'm analytics. asking is the most of the time, most of the time, this uh, legacy, I don't know, all the way up to at least until 12.2 or something like that. The version of yes. the EBS, um, the version of the BA publisher that runs on EBS platform is like way, way too, <laughs> like, you know, it's not even close to what uh, you would see on 11G or 12G uh, version of the BA publisher. So my question is, when they when they provide the opportunity to do that BA publisher on cloud, um, my question is, is that like an enterprise version of the cloud, which is um, BA publisher which is totally different than the standard components that you get with the EBS? Because that's that's that comes as part of the installation. So you don't get like a separate uh, UI where you can drag and drop and group and do other things. But is this, I'm just trying to find what version will that be, that's all. So in terms of version, we exactly don't know, but it comes with the release. Once you procure the Oracle Fusion, this is a Fusion BA publisher we're talking exactly. about. Yeah, I can tell from that. So on the ERP, we come with, yeah. Yeah, I already worked on this BA publisher on the Fusion side. So yeah, it's a standard one which will come with the Oracle Fusion. And uh, it's and you have all the components, whatever you are doing in the BA publisher available by default on the Fusion side. Yeah, uh, and this is Gopal. I just want to check one thing. Like, you know, when you're talking about BI, right? So, are you going to cover, like, you know, how we can? So, when the once the BI report is generated in Fusion, right? Um, so, the report I want to send it to some other uh, thing where today we are not finding any functions in the BI, you know. Um, so. Are you going to cover this one, you know, using uh, YCS, how I can send this report to other, um, you know, as an attachment yes. or something, you know, using, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, no, that's there, fine. Are, there are two ways. We'll discuss both and we will have a lab session too, okay, creating a report and then sending it. We, will in, we have included that also in a lab session. We'll do both, okay. one using integrations okay. and one using just BI itself. Okay, okay, thanks. So now talking about uh, integrations, so we can use this integration. We have monitoring, we have design. So we have a special tab called connections where we create connections, simplified connections. So you just enter the host URL, password, username. It's enough to communicate with the other systems. So it, it, Oracle has made more simpler. It's very simple now in our integrations to create connections between two systems. And there are vast number of adapters they have included in OSC. It can communicate with so many other systems. We'll see which uh, few systems in later. Now, here there are two things which we need to uh, understand: In inbound and outbound. So people do get confused with this OAC terms and ERP terms. So when we talk about we are building an integration to ERP system, the inbound and outbound is different. Whereas if we talk about OAC. Oracle integration cloud itself, you're just buying an Oracle integration cloud, then whatever you're bringing into OIC is inbound. Whatever you're sending out from OIC is outbound. Okay. In terms of ERP, now we have a fusion middleware ERP system and we have OIC. Whatever goes into Oracle is inbound integration, which we build. Let's say I'm building an integration on OIC and I'm getting data from somewhere and I'm pushing data to Oracle Fusion ERP. So this integration is called inbound. Now let's say we are creating a report, BA publisher report on Fusion and now I'm sending this to a third party system using OIC. This is called outbound. Okay, some people will procure only OIC for integrations and they use it to communicate with multiple systems so they call inbound whatever comes into OIC and they call outbound whatever they send from OIC. So they, some people maintain a third party uh, application itself on OIC. 
okay so now whatever we talk is related to ERP terms when I say we are going to build an inbound integration we are going to build an integration which will send data to Oracle Fusion when I say outbound integration we are going to take the data from Oracle Fusion and send it to third party application we clear on this confusions The same, right? Uh, inbound means ERP inbound will be coming to Artwell, and OIC would be coming into Fusion. Outbound is outside from Oracle uh, Fusion. It's the same. When we talk about ERP terms, OIC does two jobs at a time. Okay, it will get the data from some other location, and it will push the data to Oracle. Okay, there is inbound and outbound happening on OIC. When we talk about in terms of ERP, when I say I'm building an integration for ERP, then we just call a inbound integration. Data Oracle integration will fetch the data from third party system and it will insert data into Oracle Fusion. It's just a big difference. Because going forward we'll be calling inbound integration means OIC will get the data from third party application and it will insert data into Oracle Fusion ERP. That's fine. And outbound would be from Fusion to somewhere else. Yes, exactly. Okay, the same. Okay. Yeah. So connections, as we said, in OIC, uh, just one connection, one click connections. You click on create, you select what is the connection you want to do, and you provide the URL, username, password, and if they have any private public keys maintained or encryptions, we just provide it there on the connection, and we click save and our connection is ready to use in the integration. When you build your integration, you can just use it. So it comes up with a vast number of connections. Oracle can communicate with multiple systems. They have inbuilt connectors to connect with multiple systems. That we'll see, we'll work on few adapters, not all because there are so many. So especially we'll work on ERP adapter, which has come up in this with advanced features all the options Oracle exposed can directly be done with one click. We'll see in detail when we are building the lab session. So when you talk about the adapters, uh, are, are these are these adapters come as the package of uh, OIC or, yes. or it comes as a package as a, of OIC? We, I mean it doesn't have to be built later on. It, we don't no, have to procure no. those. We don't need to build anything. All these adapters are already available. We just need to select and go. And what are the outbound, uh, like like example, outbound adapters you will take, or like outbound system, will do in labs? So that's what, so for example, there is a SAP adapter and Fusion adapter. So from Fusion, we get the data, and we use a SAP adapter to send the data to SAP system. Okay. Yeah, no, like we are having some lab sessions, right? You will be taking some examples, right? Yes, 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 Sense we will we'll take some examples, yes. Okay. But majorly, uh, going forward we will be using a file based because a huge data cannot be handled by oracle systems like let's say if the file is like more than 10 mb okay these adapters doesn't work well if the file size is less than 10 mb like one or few transactions then you can use all the rest apis or web services and to do everything whereas if the file size is more then we get the data in the form of file oracle will support up to 1 gb of file no, it's the limitation with the Oracle or are you like yes. every middleware is the limitation thing? limitation with the Oracle. Okay. Oh, please can you repeat again? I missed that part. The one gag and yeah. Yes. So the maximum data size file which an adapter can use is one GB. Okay. Few adapters doesn't even handle that much. So it maximum accepts is like ten MB. So what really happens if the data size is more than that? In the adapter will time out. It will time out. So these are the limitations. We will uh, discuss each and every limitation with each adapter in OIC going forward. See, few few adapters are the basic adapters which we really need. Like, if we have a data, if we have validations, then we need a database. So while inserting into database, we have a 
limitation that adapter cannot run for longer time it cannot keep inserting huge data so there is a limitation it can insert up to 10 MB if it's beyond that then it fails so for that we will need to do debatching we need to read the file in segments and we'll insert so these are a bit technical we will discuss later in the class let's not get confused with this memories and all we have a chart where what oracle is allowing 